Welcome back to This Morning. Now, last Sunday night, the great and the good of the film industry were in Britain for the BAFTAs. And among the faces that everyone knew stood one man whose name until now might have gone unrecognized. Yes, a decade ago, this London actor was living in a hostel, but then a string of roles in critically acclaimed Brit flicks saw him gain notoriety. And last weekend, he picked up the Rising Star Award and with it, the realization that finally, his dream had been accomplished. And the winner is Adam Deacon. <laughs> Thank you to BAFTA for this because um, for me it, it means acceptance and it's not just a win for me, it's a, it's a win for the underdog and it's a win for, for any young person out there that's trying to, you know, that's got a dream to better themselves and so this means a lot. Thank you so much. Oh, well done and uh, welcome. Thank you, thank you for having me. What a night. Have you, have you come down yet from the, <laughs> the cloud you must be floating on? I'm still kind of on that cloud right now. I'm still kind of, yeah, we just done loads of interviews and... So I haven't really had a moment to really Absolutely. let it sink in, yeah. But, but this weekend, I'm going to kind of catch up with people and, and just, yeah, hopefully just chill out a little bit this weekend. What, yeah. what went through your head the moment that, I mean, when you, all, you know when you're sitting there and they're announcing all the names. And yeah. what, what do you think at that moment? But then what happens in your head when they say your name? Would, would you know what, right? It was a bit of a weird night because um, there was a cameraman on the right. And obviously you kind of, you know, you watch these award shows and you know that they're going to kind of have a camera on you. And um, I looked round and they had a camera on everyone else. Like they had a camera on Chris O'Dowd and Tom Hiddleston and everyone. And, and the camera guy was like, he's not on us at all. And literally I turned around to Michael that I was with. I was like, I, we definitely haven't won. Like we definitely haven't won because basically there's no camera on us. I don't even think they're going to get our reaction shot. There's, no one, there's nothing on us. And literally just at the last minute of the VT, the cameraman just kind of put it <laughs> on us in. right at the last minute. And, and then and literally a second after they said my name. And that, it was, it was that thing of, did it seem unreal? Very, very unreal. And I think it was the American accent as well. You know, when you hear, your, you know, the winner is Adam yeah. Deke. It was like, wow, this is... I've only kind of seen this in a movie before. So, uh, yeah, yeah. But the only thing I was a bit disappointed about, I didn't, I didn't get too drunk, man. Like, I didn't. I, I kind of assumed that, you know, if you, <laughs> if you win that award, yeah, you know, you have a bit of champagne, yes. drink. And it, I met so many people and we were talking. You had, you had to stay Yeah, I kind of had to stay quite sober. and uh, It's probably for a reason. I'm a bit of a lightweight, so... Uh, right. Well, yeah. you'd probably go home and wreck your house and have to have an insurance claim. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't want to drop the bath door or something. No, like no, 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 no. No, you no, no, don't. No, no, you don't. <laughs> now, you, you had... Um, a bit of an exceptional night in as much as you were the only winner who mm. picked up an award on the night voted for by the public. Mm. Yeah. And you had a lot of people rallying for, uh, support for you. Mm. Jamie Oliver on Twitter, yeah. uh, Talisa, mm. Professor Green. I mean, you, there was an army of social networking types out there really helping your corner, weren't they? Yeah, that, that's what it was, you know. I think, um, you know, a lot of the, not, not everyone, but some of these people I've kind of worked with before and, you know, I, I kind of grew up with, with Professor Green and like, he went to my school and Labyrinth went to my school. And so, you know, you know these people, but you... And, you know, Twitter's a very powerful thing, and they put it through Twitter, and people kind of listen to that. And, I mean, there was, there was this kind of talk, and I, I've got to say it, right? You know, when we, when, we, when we first got nominated, it was like... There was, there was all this kind of press saying, what, what is he doing, you know, this, this guy? I think Chris O'Dowd must have mentioned did something that, about... Did that upset you when it, the... When well, it didn't really up. upset me, but I remember Chris O'Dowd said something about he's a promotional, he, this guy, I'm not going to win because Adam Deacon's a promotional animal or something. And I, I kind of thought, well, you know what, hold on, you've had all the mainstream papers kind of talking about you, yep. you know, all the, all the tabloid papers. My name was about, you know, you'd have to put glasses on to see my name kind of thing, because it was, it was this whole thing of Tom yeah. Hiddleston v Chris yeah. O'Dowd. And, and so if it I'm being honest, sense. no one thought that it was going to happen. Yeah, because um, it's, a, bit, it's a, bit of a, a little bit of a thing with you because mm. uh, being, you know, saying the underdog, mm. but some of these other guys have had more of a, shall we say, a, a, a rounded uh, uh, educational system that, uh, I don't mean that in a, in a yeah, bad yeah, way, yeah, but yeah, they've, yeah, gone, yeah. They've, they've studied theatre and mm. acting, and you're very much on the, the guy, you know, it's a, 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 from the street, from the, from the on, other I'm, end. I'm on a street level with it. Um, don't get me wrong, I mean, I went to Anna Shares. Yeah. Like, I just bumped into Natalie Cassidy. She's an Anna Share girl, um, but you know Natalie. Natalie is the same. She's a she's a Londoner, yeah. you know, and and that's what she done. She took Anna Share. She took Londoners like Kathy Burke and people like that, and she she put them out there. And no one else oh, kind of well, done that. And credit where it's due, you um, 
you, you followed up Kidulthood mm. by write, co-writing and co-directing Anotherhood. Yeah. And that was just kind of born out of frustration of the fact that you weren't getting those calls from the casting directors that mm. you wanted to be seen by. Mm. So rather than sit around feeling sorry for yourself, you did something about it and, and you made it happen. And, yeah. and, and I think that is, is, is really oh. deserving of recognition. Oh, thank you. Well, yeah, no, I mean, it's a, a great thing because people will then now look up to you because you've done it yourself. Mm. Well, I'd say it to any actor out there. You know, you, you, it's kind of like a bit of a do-it-yourself kind of thing at the moment. And I think more and more uh, actors that I talk to are kind of on this thing of that's what they want to do. You know, I think that's the new thing right now because it, it, it's either that or you're just waiting for the phone to ring. Well, it's like and Matt Damon and um, Ben Affleck yeah. with Good Will yeah. Hunting. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I get the impression with you it's not about the fame, it's about the work. Oh, it's always been about the work, you know, and that, it, it, it will always be about the work. You know, I've ne I never came into this thing to be famous or or to be, you know, paps. And, and I love the fact that they don't kind of take that much interest in me in the sense that I can still walk around Tesco and, and not, you know, it's still, I'm, I'm, I like the fact that you can walk down the street and, and people are cool with you and all that. And, and that's what it's always been. You know, as you said, you know, I, I, we made kiddohood, we made adulthood. And yeah. I think that what happened with they me were personally- huge. They, they were huge. Well, you say it's huge, right? But it was only really quite big with the younger audience. So mm. I was going up for castings where you're meeting people of another age group and, you know, it was a mad little bubble that you're in because you've got the kids out there saying, oh, my God, we love these movies, and it's the first authentic, gritty kind of portrayal of London. But then the kind of directors and casting directors that I was meeting yeah. at the time, they didn't, they didn't know who I was, they didn't know what films I'd been in, they didn't know anything about it. And so, you know... Is it's that the frustrating? Very frustrating. And as you said, that's why Another Hood got, got, um, got made, because I just felt... It was more, obviously I wanted to put the film out. It was always this idea of a comedy, but at the same time, it was about saying, look, I believe that cast and directors forgot that I was acting since I was 12. Mm. They, yeah, you're they, an they, LEG in the house. That's it, yeah, but they didn't do that, that research. So it was that thing of letting people know I'm an actor. And I think that, you know, the characters I played, they were very real, they were gritty, and I think it scared people. Mm -hmm. And I think that what I wanted to tell the industry, look, if I can go out and kind of take the mick out of myself a little bit, right, yeah. then hopefully you guys won't be so scared of me, and I can come on shows like, well, I'm not, like this morning. We're not scared, and, of, you. We're not scared hey, listen, of you. Your new movie sounds uh, like a very modern tale. <coughs> yeah, payback Excuse season. Me. Yeah. It's the story of a young footballer who um, experiences all the fame and notoriety that are bestowed on, on sports stars mm. today and um, with a kind of dark tale uh, riding underneath all of it. Mm. Is that right? Yeah, no, that, you know, it's a story, you know, we're bombarded every day in the media of kind of celebrity culture. And um, I think this is the first film that kind of tells you the other side of it, you know, well, especially think... when you're coming from a certain area or, or a council estate or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. There's other pressures. There's there's pressure. You know, you're, there's people that from your past that can catch up with you. And, well, we can and see that now. We've got a clip of the movie. Can we uh, can we take a look at you in action? Ten grand, G. It's a lot of money. You got it right. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, you saw me out right. Listen, you know I'll do anything I can to help you, man. But I'll see what I can sort out. Come on, bro. What are you saying? You just said you got it. You know how things were the other way. I'd do it for you in a minute. Just alone. I know. Remember that I've helped you out better times than enough things in the past. You gonna help out, brother, or what? Yeah. Now you're right. You go do all your business. Nice right, one, brother. Now I can count on you. So, do you get to uh, live the footballer lifestyle to do some research? Uh, no. No, still low budget films. You oh, know, that, come that was on. that was uh, before the BAFTA, I guess. It was all all still very kind of guerrilla style filming and that. But uh, <laughs> but um, but no, it was it was it was really nice because for me it was um, it sounds weird, but it was the first part right where I was kind of a, just quite a normal guy. Not you know you get me fam and blood this and yeah, yeah, and yeah. quite hyperactive character. Even though you know you got these kind of characters in it, I wasn't playing them parts. And right. I was yeah, much I was kind of on the, I was on the good side for a change. So. Yeah. BAFTA, uh, new film out on March 9th. Yeah. Payback season is Hollywood next in the cards. Do you know what I mean? Or should we watch the space? Well, do you know what? There, there's been talk and stuff about maybe going to America, and that that even that alone sounds surreal. The day I get off a plane and go to America, that's been. The, I've, I've, you know, I used to think about that when I was a kid and all that. So, uh, but there is talk about it. But at the same time, you know, I don't want to get too kind of carried away with it. I know that. Take each day as it comes. Exactly. I can't, I can't imagine anything but that phone ringing off the hook and the best of luck oh, with everything. Yeah. Thank you. you. Really well made it happy for yourself. No, you are very you inspirational. So thank you. Cheers. Thanks, Adam. Okay, well, earlier on, uh, Matt asked for your comments on today's talking points, so let's see what you've had to say over to the hub.